guys! So today, we are going to tackle about applications of polynomial functions. So we are going to solve problems involving polynomial functions. In problem solving, we can encounter different kinds of problems. So I will give you some of the formulas that we can apply in solving um, polynomial functions. So, we have here area, volume, and then profit. In area, we have here an area of a square, a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle. In area of a square, we have S squared. S means the side. In area of a rectangle, we have A. Then a rectangle equals to LW. L means the length and then width. Area of a triangle is equal to 1 half BH. B means the base and H means the height. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, which is pi is equal to 3.1416, and r is the radius. Right? Next, let us have some volume formulas. We have the volume of a cube, which is equal to s cubed. S means sides. Volume of a rectangular prism is equal to LWH or length multiplied by the width times the height. Then, volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared. Pi again is equal to 3.1416. R is the radius and H is the height of the cylinder. Then, we have here also a profit. Profit is equal to the total revenue minus the total expenses. So, revenue means the total assets or yung napagbayantahan mo or sales minus dun sa iyong gastos. So, that is equal to your profit. So, these are just the sum, some formulas that we can apply in solving problems. It depends upon the problems. So, we have different steps in solving a problem. So, we have here step 1. Step 1, read and analyze the problem. Step 2, make a representation or write the given. Step 3, set up the working equation. Step 4, solve the equation. And then step 5, verify the answer or check your answer. Let's have example number 1. A computer, a computer manufacturing company has a total cost of a function of c of x is equal to 102x plus 30,050 pesos. And a total revenue function is r of x is equal to 450x pesos. What is the equation of the profit function for this? What is the company's profit if they manufactured 100 units of computer? So, we have a given here, a cost function of C of X equals to 102X plus 13,050 pesos. And a total revenue functions of R of X is equals to 450X pesos. And then, the questions, what is the equation of the profit function? Equation of the profit function and then, what is the company's profit if they manufactured 100 units of computer? So, in this case, this problem is about business and economics. So, we are going to find for, for the profit and the equation of the profit function. Okay, let us solve now. For the step 1, we already analyze, read and analyze the given example. Now, let us move to step 2. Let us write the given. So, our given here is... Let us have the given. Our given is the total cost. The total cost function, which is... C of x is equal to 102x plus 13,050 pesos. Next, we have the total 
revenue function, which is equal to r of x is equal to 450x pesos. Then, we are asking for the profit. Okay. So, we are asking for the profit and then the equation of the profit. Yeah. So, these are the missing. So, for the equation of the profit, so, uh, kanina, we have the formula of the profit, right? The formula of the profit is equal to the total uh, revenue minus the total cost or the expenses. Ayan. So, yan yung ating formula. So, yung revenue minus the expenses. Alright? Total cost function. So, after have your equation, we are going to substitute the given for us to have our equation. So, we have here our profit is equal to our R of X is equal to 450 450x substitute minus our C we should have an open close parenthesis kasi binomial ang given natin sa ating total cost we have here 102x plus 13,050 pesos or kahit wala na yung pesos ayan Equal. then afterwards we are going to Distribute the negative signs on the open and close parentheses. So, you have here the profit is equal to 450x. Then, we have minus 102x. Then, negative multiply a positive. So, we have here negative 13,050. Then, next, since we have both same terms, like terms, we can combine these two. Okay? So, we have here the profit is equal to 450 minus 102. We have 348x. Then, just copy minus 13,050. Okay? So, this is now your working formula. And, or we can change profit as P of X. Yeah. 348X minus 13,050. So, this is your profit equation. Yeah. We have now your profit equation. After you have your profit equation, ang sabi dun sa ating tanong, what is what is the company's profit if they manufactured 100 units so meaning ang ating x is equal to 100 units yeah so we are going to use this equation then yung x natin papalitan natin ng 100 for us to find the profit all right let us solve now the equation. So, we have P of X is equal to 348X minus 13,050. So, we are going to change X into 100 units. So, we have P of 100 is equal to 348 times. So, yung X mo gagawin mo ng 100. Change it into 100. Minus 13,050. Then, you will just multiply. So, we have here 348 multiplied by 100. The answer is 34,800. Then, subtract it to 13,050. So, we have now P of 100 
is equal to 34,800 minus 13,050. We have 21,750 pesos. Okay. So, this is now the profit. Profit when they manufactured 100 units of computer. Yan. Okay. So, we have now your answer. So, the our profit equation is this one. And then, your answer is 21,750 pesos. Example number two. Suppose the speed of an elevator in feet per second is given by the polynomial function s of t is equal to t raised to 4 minus 4t cubed plus 12t squared minus 23t, where t is the time in seconds. What is the speed of the elevator in 3 seconds? In this case, guys, meron na tayo dito ang polynomial function na agad. So, ang ating function na agad ay si s of t is equal to t raised to 4 minus 4t cubed plus 12t squared minus 23t. And then, we have now your time which is 3 seconds. So, that is your given. So, let us write it down. So, our given of s, we have s of t is equal to t raised to 4 minus 4t cubed plus 12t squared minus 23t. Okay? That is our polynomial functions for the speed of the elevator in feet per seconds. Then, we have our time, which is 3 seconds. Yan. So, yan na yung ating given. Um, next tayo. We are going now to solve this equation how we are going to solve this equation you are just right uh, you were just substitute 3 to your given t Yan, tatanggalin na change lang yung t gagawin lang nating 3 solve tayo so we have s of t is equal to t raised to 4 just copy 4 t cubed plus 12t squared minus 23t. Then substitute, we have s of t becomes 3 is equals, your t here becomes 3 raised to 4 minus 4 times 3 raised to 3 plus 12 times 3 squared minus 23 times 3. Yan. Then simplify. So, we have 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81 minus 4 times 3 cubed we have here 27. Next, plus 12 times 3 squared we have here 9. Then, 23 multiplied by 3 we have minus 69. Then, afterwards, you are going to simplify again further. We have 81 minus 4 times 27 we have 108. Then, plus 12 times 9, we have also 108, then minus 69. Then, this one is negative 108 plus 108. This now is 0. So, it left, we have 81 minus 69. Therefore, our S is equals to 81 minus 69. The answer now is, we have 12. 12 feet per second okay so this is the answer for the given example in number two so answer natin we have we have 12 feet per second all right now let's move with the next example example number three a storage box has a length of 2x plus 5 inches, a width of x minus 2 inches, and a height of x inches. Write the polynomial function that will represent the volume of the box if x is equal to 5 inches, 
what is the volume of the box. Uh, in this case, we have now a geometry problem. Okay, so we have your given, which is length of 2x plus 5, then a width of x minus 2, and a height of x inches, where your x is equal to 5 inches. So, meron na tayong x dyan. Um, sabi dito, write the polynomial function that will represent the volume of the box. So, we are going to find for the polynomial function of the volume of the box. Then, afterwards, we are going to solve for the volume of the box. Now, what's the volume of the box? What's the formula for the volume? Ang ating formula is V is equal to length times width times the height. Okay? So, yan yung ating gagamitin. Now, let us solve. Let us have the length, the width, and the height. Our length is 2x plus 5. We have 2x plus 5. Our width, we have x minus 2. Yun. And then, our height, we have here x. So, for the function, we have the volume, volume of x is equal to, iba, length times width times the height. We have the length, we have 2x plus 5, multiplied with the width of x minus 2, then multiplied by the height of x. So, this is now your polynomial uh, equation. Ito na yung ating equation. Equation of the polynomial function. Of the volume of the box. Alright? Now, let us solve. Sabi dito, x is equal to 5 inches. x is equal to 5 inches. Since we have now your given a 5 inches, we can now solve for the volume of the box. So, we have change x into 5. V of 5 is equals to 2 times, this one becomes 5 plus 5, then times 5 minus 2, then times 5. Yeah. So, we have V of 5 is equals to Multiply 2 times 5, we have here 10 plus 5. Then 5 minus 2, we have here 3. Then multiply it by 5. Then solve further. We have 10 plus 5, we have 15. Then multiply it by 3. Then multiply it by 5. Afterwards, multiply by 15 times 3 times 5. So, our answer, we have B is equal to 225. 225 inches cube. Ayan. Cube kasi volume tayo. So, this is now your final answer. And please don't forget, if you are going to solve problem solving, do not forget the unit of the uh, unit of your answer. Is it clear? Now, let's move with example number 4. We're done with number 3. Example number 4. At a certain food supplement store, the total revenue function is given by R of Y is equal to 345Y pesos, while the total cost function is C of Y is equal to 89Y plus 5,632 pesos. How many food supplements must be sold in order to avoid losing money? So, this is just an ex uh, just like an example number one. In our example number one, uh, profit case din po ito. So, since profit case, we are going to use the formula of P of Y. Bakit Y naman tayo? Kasi Y yung given natin. Profit is equal to the revenue minus to the cost. Ayan. So, the revenue minus the total expenses or the total cost. Okay? So, we are going to use this one for us to solve the given problem. 
Now, let us have the given. Our given is the total revenue, R of Y is equal to 345Y. Total cost of C of Y is equal to 89Y plus 5,632. And our profit is the P of Y where our formula is R of Y minus C of Y. And then, Y is the number of food supplement to be sold. So, ito yung dapat nating ibenta para hindi malugi yung kumpanya. So, ilan kaya yung Y na kailangan natin? Na. So, our equation, let us have our profit, P of Y. Our equation, P of Y, yung formula natin, R of Y minus C of Y. So, for us to find the equation, you are going to substitute the given R of Y and then C of Y in, in our equation. So, P of Y is equals to, your R of Y is 345Y minus our C of Y, we have 89Y plus 5,632. Yan. Then, since we have like terms here, we can now combine. So, you have here P of Y is equals 345Y then, minus, I sorry, this one should be and not have an open and close parenthesis. As a binomial pala ito. So, you have here 345y, then distribute the negative sign, minus 89y. Then, this one becomes minus 5,632. Tsaka tayo combine like terms. So, we have 345y minus 89y. We have here 256y minus 5,632. This is now your for working formula. This is your equation. Uh, equation. Yan. Okay. Ano tayong equation? Next tayo. We are now going to solve the equation. So, sabi dito, ilan daw na... Um, Number of food of supplements need to be sold. Since number of food of supplements, we are going to solve for that. Kailangan hindi bumaba sa zero or ang kanyang profit. Kasi pag bumaba sa zero, negative na siya, magigi, um, lugi na siya. Malulugi na yung kanyang uh, kumpanya. So, since bawal bumaba sa zero, we are going to let uh, y, p of y, be equal to 0. So, kailangan hindi siya mag-negative. Let tayo. Magle-let tayo. Yan. So, this one, P of Y becomes 0. So, it becomes um, 0 is equal to 256Y minus 5,632. Then, we are going to solve for Y. How will you are going to solve for Y? So, pali, pag, pali, pag palitin natin yung 0 at saka yung position nito para mas madali. So, we have 256y minus 5,632 is equal to 0. Then, solve for y. We have 256y minus 5,632. You are going to transpose 5,632 to the other side. So, equal. So, negative to magiging ng positive. 5,632. Then, you are going to divide both, both sides by 256. Then, you have here 256. Then, cancel. Your Y, divide. 5,632 divided by 256. The answer is 22. So, we have now your answer. Meaning, you have 22 um, food supplements. Food supplements that must be sold. Okay? Para hindi malugi. Okay? So, para magkaroon ka pa rin ng kita. Okay? So, that is the answer for uh, example number 4. Example number 5. We have a new bakery offers decorated cakes for birthday and special occasions. The cake is in the shape of a rectangular solid 
whose length is 4 inches longer than the width and the height is 3 inches. What should be the dimension of the cake pan if the volume of the cake is 180 inches? So in this problem, since rectangular solid ulit tayo, so we have V is equal to length times width times the height. Ang ating i-apply na formula. We are going to have the given. So, ang given natin dito, we have here, this one. Length is 4 inches longer than the width daw. And then, ang height po is 3 inches. Okay? Let us now have the given. It says that we have the length is 4 inches longer than the width. Meaning, wala tayong width. So, since wala tayong width, we are going to... Uh, represent with as your x. Okay? Then your length though is 4 inches longer than the width. So, 4 inches siya. Mas mataas siya ng 4 inches. So, therefore, width plus 4. Yun. Ganun siya. If you are going to represent. So, the length is 4 inches more than the width. Then your height though is 3 inches. We have here 3 inches. Next, the volume of the cake is 180 inches cube. Okay, so this is the volume. We have 100 inches cube. So, since we have now your given, we are going to substitute the given to your given formula. Ang given formula natin is V is equal to length times width times the height. Your V is 180 is equal to your length is x plus 4 times your width is x, then times the height, which is 3. So, this is now your equation. So, we are going to, um, you are going to compute or simplify this equation. We have 180 is equal to, so let us multiply, x times x, we have here x squared, 4 times x, so we have here 4x. Then, open close parenthesis, meron pang natirang 3. Then, multiply ulit. So, you have 180 is equal to 3x squared plus 12x. Ayan. So, as you can see, meron na tayong quadratic. Bakit quadratic? Kasi raised to 2 siya. So, yung 180, lipat mo sa kabilang side. So, you have here 3x squared plus 12x. Then, transpose mo yung 180, magiging 1, negative 180. Then, equate it into 0. So, quadratic equation na tayo. Then, si 3x squared, si 3, 12, and 180, as you can see, divisible siya by 3. Simplify natin para mas madali tayong mag-factor. So, this one, 3 divided by 3, it becomes x squared na lang. 12 divided by 3, it becomes plus 4x. Then, 180 divided by 3, we have here minus 60 is equals to 0. So, we have now your quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 4x minus 60 is equals to 0. Since quadratic na tayo, pupunta na tayo sa factoring para masolve natin yung x by using trial and error. So, we have x squared plus 4x minus 60 is equals to 0. So, let's have a trial and error is equals to 0 here. We are going to factor 60, which is kapag in mo, we have, ang sagot dito ay 4, or sunub drop. So, let us have the factors of 60. Uh, Isa-isay natin, ha? So, meron tayong um, 1 and 60. Obviously, hindi na po pwede yan. Pwede tayong, we have 15 multiplied by... 4. And then, meron tayong 10 multiplied by 6. O, oh, yan na lang muna tayo. If you are going to have this one, hindi na po pwede yan. Then, since ito ay positive, kailangan mas mataas yung positive. Positive, positive. Then, this one is negative, negative. So, 15 minus 4, the answer here is 11. So, this is not correct. 
Then, 10 minus 6, this we have here 4. So, this one is the correct factor. We have here x and x, then we have plus 10, and then minus 6. Ayan. Afterwards, you have now the factor. We are going to solve for x. Separate. x plus 10 equated to 0 by 0 property. x minus 6 equals to 0, then solve for x. x is equals to just transpose negative 10 x here is equals to just transpose we have here positive 6 ma'am dalawa po yung x so what you are going to consider as your x so since sukat ang ating hinahanap kailangan i-consider mo yung positive okay so since we have now your x x is equals to 6 so therefore meron ka ng weed Diba? Kasi raw, ang x mo raw ay, um, ang width mo raw ay x. So, this one, ang sagot mo na dito ay, we have here, 6. Next, this one, for us to have the length, just substitute 6. So, we have 6 plus 4. Yan. Then, meron ka ng height, which is 3. 6 plus 4, we have here, 10. So, what is the dimension? So, we have 10 by 6 by 3. So, this is now your dimension. Yeah. So, this is the dimension of the cake. Ano ba? We have here inches. So, 10 inches. Kailangan natin ng 6 inches by 3 inches. Okay? So, how will you check kung tama yung sagot nyo? If you are going to multiply 10 times 6 times 3, kailangan 180 ang ating sagot. 10 times 6, so we have 60. 60 times 3, the answer is 180. So, therefore, the dimension of the cake pan should be 10 by 6 by 3 inches. Is it clear? If you have any further question, any question, just comment lang po for you. Para po masagot po ang inyong mga katanungan. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Goodbye.